Hi, it's Cindy from Quilters Covered. It is uh, Covered Club. I miss you all. I'm so sorry that you couldn't be here, but I still wanted to get together with you guys and show you a few new things and then do our project. So my idea for this meeting is because you guys are all at home and of course you have nothing else to do, right? We're going to make a stitch book. How many of you have beautiful decorative stitches? This is my baby lock crescendo. And honestly, I've got tons and tons and tons of built-in stitches. And I know they're pretty, but I never stitch them out, so I don't know how absolutely gorgeous they are. So what I want you guys to do when you come next month for show and tell, because we're gonna make it right for May, fingers are crossed, I want you guys to bring your stitch book and do something creative with it. So we're gonna start with a piece of fabric. And, I'm, and along with this video, I've written you out a whole thing, giving you an idea of what to use and that kind of stuff as well. But I started with just my solid black fabric and I cut a nine inch strip and then I subcut them into four, 10 and a half, 11 inch pieces. So if you're gonna end up putting them in a binder, they'll be pretty much the right size. And then I took a, so there's my piece prepped and then we need a stabilizer on the back. So I used an iron on one that I have, which will work great or just any tearaway stabilizer. If you're really desperate, you can use paper, but I, I wouldn't suggest it. You, it gives you an excuse to come and see me, right? To get your stabilizer. So I fused it on. It doesn't have to be a fusible though. You could use a little bit of 505. The only reason I like it to be stuck is because it's a lot easier to stitch and I don't have to worry about it shifting on me. So then I'm gonna come over to my sewing machine and you can pick whatever color thread. I have a beautiful purple variegated. So this kind of gives you a feel for what, whoopsie, what I'm starting to do. So I'm here and I'm gonna pick a decorative stitch. So let's pick something easy so you guys don't sit and watch me forever. And we're gonna go back to where I was before. And I actually think this is a pretty cool stitch even though um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, that's where I was before we started to do it. Okay, so we're gonna see how this little guy works out. Now, a couple things you wanna do on your machine. If you have the option of your start stop button, which I do, I went ahead and unplugged my foot pedal and I'm just gonna let it do the work. That way my foot doesn't get tired. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change to my most a uh, clear foot. I don't want really want my open toe one. I just want something that I can see the stitches a little bit easier on. So we're gonna snap him on. And then the other thing I've put on my machine is if you have one of these quilt guides, this is a really good time to use that. It'll help you keep your rows straight. If not, you could mark with your friction pin on here or you could just randomly sew rows. Doesn't matter. You've got marks on your plate. You could try and follow those although they're gonna be underneath your fabric. How are you gonna see them? You can't. That's where this guy comes in handy. But with my crescendo, I also have this lovely little laser light, my guide me marker, that I can move over to do other things, right? So my line can move. So I can use my line to help me line up myself too, rather than this guy. So we got a whole bunch of options. But for our video, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I think you guys can see a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is, and I didn't bother to even put in matching thread, I just left my fun one on the top. I like the variegated. If you guys think that's a little too busy, feel free to use something that's gonna show up nicely against. I was thinking the dark blue, but I, I really like the variegated. It's something that you're comfortable with. Maybe you want white fabric, black thread, something that shows up. I just think they look prettier with a variegated because I'm a huge fan. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this closer in again and I'm gonna line that up with my last guy. I'm gonna lower my foot. Now on my machine, and I know everybody's got similar things, I can actually tell it to do certain things. So I want it to tie off for me and stop when the design is done. So I'm gonna not use my foot pedal because now I'm gonna use my start and stop. I can use fast, I don't care, doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna let it, all I really need to do is guide it. You still should be looking at your machine and not wandering away or watching a video at the same time. So don't watch me and stitch at the same time. I wouldn't recommend it. We don't want anybody's fingers to get hurt. 
So with this machine that I have, when I get near the end, all I have to do is turn on this little button, which I'll let it go a little bit further. And this is my pattern, um, my fix it. So it will, so if I were doing any of my other guys, it would have finished the repeat of it and then cut my threads, but I must have turned that off. Huh. Videos are so good. You know, you do it great in trial, right? And you do it in person. Whoops. Okay, so there's another of those beautiful stitches. So isn't that a cool stitch? There's some great ones. This leaf, oh my gosh, I'm gonna use it, but probably not in variegated purple in the future. So that's just a fun way. So what I want you guys to do is go through your pages, go through in order, and then make sure that you write which stitch it was so that you can find it again. Now, you know Cindy, Cindy's done random ones from different pages. I'll never be able to find the stitches again. So please be slightly more organized than I am. Okay, so that's what I want you guys to do is get these together. Now, what I'm gonna do is then take my serger, serge around the edges. I can use in my buttonhole section of my machine, I have an eyelet stitch. So I'm gonna make my eyelets poke in and then I can put them in a three ring binder. Or you can just slip them into your protective pages, whatever you wanna do. All right, so that's that. Now I get to show you the fun stuff. All right, things people are asking me for is the extra large um, Creative Grip Stitchology Ruler. The Stripology Ruler, you know, has those little lines because a lot of you guys are making the masks and so you can cut your strips very easily. If you're doing jelly rolls, if you're doing doesn't matter, you've got all the different markings. I really love this guy because I have stars, I have squares, and I have I guess that's it, and, and my solid numbers. So if I wanna do two and a half inch square or strips, all I have to do is continue to follow wherever the big square is, so I don't have to think. If you're doing inch and a half strips, you're just gonna follow the stars. So you can be cutting without having to go two and a half, five, seven and a half, you know, it makes it a lot easier, I love this one. This is a great ruler, and um, tons of requests lately for it. There are a couple of um, people doing mystery quilts using that right now for oh, excellent. inspiration okay. or for the um, people that are at home. People that are at home, yes. which is most people are at home. <laughs> so Andrea is obviously filming and she had great input. So I'm glad, hopefully you guys could hear that a lot of people are doing so long using this one, which mm -hmm. is great. Okay, couple other fun things, a new book, and then we're gonna take a little road trip too. Okay. I love this book. This one's got some very fun things. Two, four, six, eight. They're fat quarter quilts using a variety of fat quarters. I'm assuming that's where the two, four, six, eight comes for, right? Okay, cute, cute stuff. I'm not picking the cute pages to show you guys. Oh, that's cute. Oh, cute with a little bit of hand stitching. I haven't looked at them all. Love that one. That's so fun. So you guys know we're open, right? So you could actually come and look through this book yourself. Okay, Um, I'm going to here underneath here. Ooh, gorgeous new pattern we just got in called Constance. It uses a large, some large pattern repeats. So if you've got that in your stash. This one, I might be a little ahead of schedule, but it was really cute, little pumpkin. And cute new buttons. We got autumn, spring, and summer buttons that go with the new Kimber Bell button CD that came in. Machine embroidery only at this point, but you know, she'll probably do the other things. Okay, and then I have a surprise, but I'm gonna hold on to my surprise until we finish. Shall we go for a road trip, Andrea? I can't see this yet. I'm so excited you guys are gonna get the first one to see what's in my hand. Okay, um, koala chairs, I still do have them in stock. We're gonna move it out of our way to get going. Okay, we're cruising through. This one has been a very popular one. It kind of makes us think a little bit. The pattern is great. We've got some great companion fabric to go along with it. Then we're gonna come this way and we're gonna see Andrea's latest creation. She took the class from Laura Heine on the perfect form. So this is her gorgeous dress form. So Anna is gonna do a class again for us we don't know exactly when classes are going to get to start again, but we're hoping it won't be too long until we can start planning for some classes again. Don't forget, we do have some fun events, though, that you can sign up for online, like um, the Jelly Roll event. Um, 
National Jelly Roll Day, which is in September. And we've got some things a little later on for you guys to do. Okay, I'm gonna carry this bolt since we're road tripping. You guys can see everything. All right, so I have this darling little collection of stars that came in in all of these fun, fun, fun colors. And we've got a great quilt pattern. So you'll see that in an upcoming post. All right, we're, we're gonna break into it, okay? Here it is. So normally beginning of June, I introduce my new barn block for the year, but I decided we needed something fun. We've got the kits cut already. They won't be available until, well, Friday, because you guys won't get to see this even until Friday. So they should be available. But this is my new barn block for 2020. So we'll have the kits available for it. It's got applique in it as well. Um, just really fun. I think you guys will enjoy this one a lot. So call me and we'll get pre-orders. And then the last little bonus, hey, I don't know if you guys have all met Everett, but Everett's here. I'm going to grab, and this is my daughter who probably didn't want to get seen. <laughs> Evie, can you say hi to everybody? Say hi to Cupboard Club. Say bye. Oh, take this stupid thing out of your mouth. Okay, can you say hi? Can you smile? Can you wave? Come on, you. Show them some personality. Bye. <coughs> hi. All right, that's all we're getting. Everett didn't know he was going to be on camera. He didn't practice. My apologies. Guys, I miss you a lot. I hope we'll get to see you very soon. Take care and come and see me. I miss you all. Bye.